So, let's continue our discussion on the pile capacity. So, dito muna tayo sa static pile analysis or yung analysis ng single na piles. So, um, the ultimate bearing load of the pile is the sum of the end bearing capacity and the skin friction capacity. And of course, um, similar dun sa shallow foundations natin, yung allowable capacity ng pile, that is the ultimate capacity divided by the factor of safety. So your piles can be piles on sand or piles on clay. So kapag piles on sand, um, the end bearing can be calculated by multiplying the effective vertical stress at the pile tip times the area of the pile tip times your bearing capacity factor NQ. So, the skin friction naman, pwede nyo siyang makuha by multiplying your coefficient of friction between the pile and sand, which is mu, times P, which is the perimeter of the pile. And then, A sub P diagram. So, ito yung area ng pressure diagram. And K is the coefficient of lateral pressure between the pile and the sand. So, paano ba yung pressure diagram? So, ito po yung um, diagram na ginagawa by using the um, effective stress dun sa kada level. So, kung yung Y mo, so, yung Y, yan yung um, depth and then yung x-axis mo naman, yan yung effective stress. Pero meron tayong tinatawag na critical depth. So, kapag dense yung sand, ang critical depth natin is 20 times the pile diameter. And then, kapag loose naman yung sand, that is 10 times the pile diameter. And anything beneath the critical depth, so, ina-assume na um, hindi na nag increase yung effective stress. That's why, sa ibang reviewer, ang makita nyo na sigma prime ay effective stress at the pile tip. Or, yung iba pa, nakalagay rin naman ay effective, effective vertical stress at the critical depth. So, later on sa example problem, mas makikita natin yung uh, pinagdadaldal ko na effective vertical stress. So, kapag sa piles on clay naman, your end bearing can be calculated as the product of the um, cohesion the area of the pile tip, and NC, or the bearing capacity factor. So, kapag walang binigay na NC, ang gagamitin yung value is 9. So, for the skin friction of piles on clay, meron tayong tatlong method. We have the alpha method, the beta method, and the lambda method. So, sa alpha method, madali lang siyang to umin, clap yung formula. C for cohesion, L for pile length, alpha is your um, adhesion factor or frictional constant, and P is the perimeter, perimeter of the pile section. Then, sa beta method naman, you have to multiply the skin factor beta times the length of pile times sigma prime M, which is the average vertical effective stress at mid-height of the layer. And then, P, again, is the perimeter of the pile section. And lastly, yung lambda method. So, that is lambda or the 
effective frictional factor times the length of pile. Yan, times quantity the um, average vertical effective stress at mid-height of the layer plus 2 times the cohesion. So, quantity and times the perimeter of the pile section. So, let's have an example problem. So, we have a 0 0.36 um, meter pre-stress concrete pile that is to be driven in a clay soil. So, the design cap capacity of the pile is 360 kilonewton with a factor of safety of 2. So, we are asked to determine the end bearing capacity, the skin friction, and the length of pile. So, yung una natin gagawin, e, so, the end, the bearing capacity. So, this is Q, E, B. So, this is equal to, um, QEB is equal to the cohesion times the area of the pile tip times NC. So, hindi na ilagay dito yung value ng cohesion. So, ilagay natin muna yung values ng properties ng soil. So, yung given na cohesion is um, oh, so actually, ang given pala niya is QU. So, QU um, 111 kilonewton per square meter and then yung isa pa niyang given uh, yung unit weight ng soil. So, this is 18 point 5 kilonewton per cubic meter. So, take note na sa pag-calculate ng end bearing capacity, ang kailangan natin ay cohesion. Pero, ang binigay dun sa problem is QU or the undrained shear strength. So, the cohesion is equal to the undrained shear strength all over 2. So, kung pag-aaralan nyo yung topic na shear strength, shear strength of soils na hindi natin, um, na hindi included sa geotechnical one. So, ito, makukuha nyo ito. Cohesion is equal to the undrained shear strength all over 2. So, okay na. Mayroon na tayong cohesion. So, this is equal to, um, 111 all over 2 or 55.5 kPa. So, this is 55 kilonewton per square meter times the area of the pile tip which is um, 0 0.36 meter squared times NC. Since wala siyang binigay na NC, we will use 9. 
So, your end bearing capacity is equal to sixty four point seven three five kilonewton per ah kilonewton oops So, yan. So, yung end bearing capacity ng pile natin is 64.7352 kN. Then, pangalawa, pinapahanap sa atin yung skin friction. So, hindi natin magagamit sa ngayon yung formula for skin friction using alpha, beta, or lambda method. But, given yung design capacity ng pile, and meron ring binigay na factor of safety. Therefore, yung gagamitin natin yung formula na Q ultimate yung pile is equal to the sum of the end bearing and skin friction. So, paano naman natin makukuha yung ultimate? So, this is by simply multiplying the um, Q allowable times the factor of safety. Ayan. Equal siya dito. So, Q allowable natin, 360 kN times factor of safety na 2. So, equal siya sa 64.73 5.2 kilonewton plus T skin friction. So, yung skin friction this is equal to point. 2648 kilo newton. So, last key, pinapahanap sa atin yung length ng pile. Yan. So, if alpha is equal to 0 0.76, therefore, gagamitin natin method is alpha method. So, your skin friction, this is equal to cohesion times L alpha P. And this is 655.2648. Equal siya to um, 55.5 kilonewton per square meter times L times 0 0.76 times 0 0.36 times 4. So, di ba yung P natin or yung perimeter ng pile section is... 4 times the side, ano, kaya 4 times 0.36. Ito ay nakameter. So, makukuha natin na length ng pile
Pag nating length ng file, L. is 10.7882 10.7882 meters So, let's have another example problem. So, meron naman tayong uh, 20 meter long na steel pile with a diameter of 0.5 meters. So, ito yung section niya. Uh, meron tayong tatlong layer ng clay and yung pinaka taas na layer is nahati siya. Yung isa dry, ito ay saturated kasi below na siya ng groundwater table. So, let's try to solve this one. So, A, we have the um, and bearing capacity. So, this is equal to QEB equals to C times A sub B times and C. So, this is um, cohesion area ng pile tip times NC. So, since nandito yung pile tip natin, ito, ang i-consider nating cohesion ay yung cohesion ng soil kung saan tatama yung tip ng pile. So, this is equal to 50 kilonewton per square meter times AP. So, this is pi over 4 times 0 0.5 meter squared times NC na 9 since nandinigay. So, this is equal to Eighty-eight point QEB is equal to eighty-eight point three five seven three. Kilo Newton. So, next is to find the frictional resistance using alpha method. Dahil may tatlong layer tayo ng clay, ang frictional resistance ng um, pile or yung is the sum of the individual frictional resistance dun sa kada layer. So, Alpha method. Yeah. So, USF is equal to CL alpha P. So, 
Unahin natin yung 1. So, yung cohesion niya is 35 times yung length niya na 8 times alpha na 0 0.7 and then perimeter na pi times 0 0.5. So, ito ay equal to Um, 307.8761 kilonewton. Then, din naman sa pangalawang layer, um, 45 times 10 times 0 0.75 times pi times 0 0.5. Five hundred thirty point fourteen thirty kilonewton, and then lastly, so this is equal to fifty times two times zero point nine times pi times 0 0.5 141.3717 kilo newton yan so, yung um, frictional resistance ng pile natin is the sum of these three. Ayan. plus 530.1438 plus 141.3717. This is equal to um, nine hundred seventy nine point three nine one six kilo newton. So, next naman, na pinapahanap sa atin is the frictional resistance using beta method. So, looking back, ang formula natin ng frictional resistance using beta method is equal to beta times the length of pile times sigma prime sub m times p. So, yung beta, given naman siya, yung length ng pile, meron din tayo. Ang mahaba-haba lang na kukunin natin is the effective stress at kada mid-height nung mga clay layer. And then yung P, um, same lang siya. Pi times the diameter. So, what are we going to do para mas madali and gagamitin rin naman natin siya mamaya sa pagkuha ng frictional resistance using lambda method, um, kunin na natin yung um, 
mga effective stress at mid-height nung kada clay layer. So, consider natin. Say, ito ay yung layer 1. So, isang clay lang yan. Ano? Layer 1. Isang clay lang yan. But, ang pinag-aiba lang niya is um, yung ibang part nakasubmerge na siya or fully saturated na siya. Kasi ito yung ating groundwater table. So, ang mid-height nitong layer 1 is 4. Ayan. 4. So, ito, yung effective stress dito, yung kukunin natin. Ayan. So, this is equal to um, 17.8 kilonewton per cubic meter times yung depth na 2 plus um, 18 minus 9.81 times zero uh, times 2 meters. Yeah. So, sigma prime m dun sa first layer. Fifty one point ninety eight. Yun naman, sa pangalawang layer, eto. Mid-height naman ito. Layer 2. And, of course, DPN. So, this is 5. Yung effective stress dito sa part na to yung kukunin natin. So, this is um, 17.2, ah, 17.8 kilonewton per cubic meter times 2 plus 18 minus 9.81 times 6 plus 18 Point three minus nine point eighty one times five. So, this is equal to 127.19 kilonewton per square meter. And then, dito naman, sa last na layer natin, to layer 3 to naman natin siya kukunin
So, kung ito ay 2, ito naman ay 1. Kasi kalahat niya. So, this is prime and 3 is equal to 17.8 times 2 18 minus 9.81 times 6 plus 18.3 minus 18.3 minus 9.81 times 10 plus 18 18.5 18.5 minus 9.81 times 1 so ito One hundred seventy eight point thirty three kilo newton. So, tanda natin tong mga values na to kasi magagamit natin siya sa beta method and lambda method. So, continue natin yung solution natin sa next slide. So, continuation. Um, yung skin friction natin. So, for the first layer, this is equal to 0. 22 times 8 meters na length times yung effective stress natin at mid height which is equal to um, 51.98 times P na pi times 0 0.5. So, continue na natin. Plus, yung sa second layer naman, we have beta as 0 0.27 times yung length ulit ng pile na 10 meters times um, effective stress 127.19 times pi times 0 0.5 plus yung sa last na layer um, 0 0.32 times 2 times One hundred seventy eight point thirty three times pi times zero point five. Yeah. So yung skin friction is equal to eight hundred sixty two point. Four one two eight kilo 
Newton. So, this is the screen friction using beta method. So, sa letter D naman, kunin natin yung frictional resistance using um, lambda method. So, QSF is also oh, hiwa-hiwalayin na lang natin ulit siya. Ano? Para hindi ganun kahaba yung equation. So, di ba? Sa lambda method, this is equal to lambda times length times um, sigma prime m plus 2 times cohesion times p. So, dito sa first layer, we have 0 0.15 times length na 8 times So, this is times 51.98 plus 2 times the cohesion natin na 35 times pi times 0 0.5. So, this is equal to... Two hundred twenty nine point nine two six nine. So, dito naman sa pangalawang layer, lambda natin ay zero point eighteen times ten times. One two seven point nineteen plus two times forty five times pi times zero point five. So this is um six hundred fourteen point zero nine zero two uh kilonewton ana. And then, dito naman, sa last na layer, um, lambda natin, 0 0.20 times 2 times 178.33 plus 2 times 50 times pi times 0 0.5. So, this is 174.87. Kilo newton. So, yung um, pinaka-skin friction natin, the sum of these three, so that is equal to um, 1018.897 kilo newton. And we have E, which is the allowable load capacity. So, ang binigay na factor of safety is 3. Hindi ko lang nailagay dyan sa problem. Close to 3. So, yan. Yeah. Um, 
dito um, since meron tayong tatlong value ng um, skin friction yung pinaka mababa yung kukunin natin kasi yun yung um, kumbaga pinaka safe so eto kung i-compare nyo yung sa alpha, beta, and lambda method, yung nakuha natin sa beta method, yung pinakamababa. So, ito yung gagamitin natin. Yung 862.4128. So, therefore, yung Q allowable natin, so, this is equal to your end bearing, which is 88.3573. Kilo Newton plus 862.4128 Kilo Newton all over 3. So, this is equal to 316.9234 kilo newton. So, let's proceed to our last example problem. So, ito naman, um, piles on sand. So, meron daw tayong circular pile na no, 0.45 meters in diameter. And then, yung, um, yung haba niya is 15 meters. And, naka-embed siya sa Dense sand. So, dry unit weight ng soil is 18 kilonewton per cubic meter. Then, yung saturated unit weight, 21 kilonewton per cubic meter. So, given yung NQ85, value ng K is... Um, 1.25, mu is 0.45, and the factor of safety is 2.5. So, yung water table daw ay 4 meters below the ground surface. So, para mas, para mas ma-visualize natin yung problem, i-drawing natin yung figure. So, ito yung ground surface natin. Meron tayong pile. tayong pile and then let's say ito yung groundwater table so this is 4 and this is 11 kasi yung total length natin ay 15 meters so itong part na to ay saturated ito naman ay dry So yung unit weight dito ay 18 kilonewton per cubic meter and dito naman ay yung 21 Yan. So sa letter A pinapahanap sa atin yung um, point bearing capacity or yung end bearing so this is QEB equal to mu times P uh, 
Ah, sorry. Um, sigma prime pala. Kasi end bearing. Sigma prime times area ng pile tip times and Q. So, ano tong sigma prime? So, sa ibang references, ang ginagamit na, ang nakalagay dun ay um, effective stress at pile tip or yung iba naman ay effective stress at critical depth. So, kunin natin yung critical depth DC. So, since dense yung sand natin, yung critical depth ay 20 times the pile diameter, which is 0 0.45. So, yung critical depth natin, 9 meters. So, asan ba yung 9 meters dito. So, approximately dito. So, ang paggawa ng um, pressure diagram, yung way natin yung depth, and then, yan, and then, yung dito naman, yung horizontal axis, yan yung effective stress. So, dito sa ground surface, ang effective stress natin is zero. And then, dito, 4 meters below the ground surface, this is 4 times 18. So, this is um, 18 kilonewton per cubic meter times depth na 4. This is equal to 72 kilonewton per square meter. 72. So, lalim pa tayo dun sa critical depth. Um, I-compute naman natin yung effective stress sa critical depth. So, since di ba, iba na sila ng, ano, ng unit weight. Ito ay saturated na. May iba na yung slope. Iisin natin. So, project lang natin to dito. Medyo in-exaggerate ko lang ng konti para makitang iba na sila ng slope. So, this... Uh, the effective stress dito, so this is equal to um, 4 times 18, ay, 4 times 18 plus um, 21 minus 9.81 times, ilan yung depth na to? No. So, this is 4, this is 5, and this is equal to 127.95. Yan. KPA, KPA, or kilonewton per square meter. So, ano naman, this is after ng critical depth. So, 
dito sa pag um, static file analysis, ina-assume niya na um, constant na yung stress. Kaya, dun sa ibang uh, references or reviewer, effective stress at file tip or effective stress at critical depth. Kasi, pareho na yun throughout pababa. Yan ay 127.95 kPa pa din. So, yun na. Makukuha na natin yung end bearing. So, QEB, this is equal to 127.95 kilonewton per square meter times pi over 4 times d squared na 0 0.45 squared times NQ natin na 85. So, ni QAB is equal to 1,729.7133 kilo newton in sector. Yeah. So, dito naman sa letter B. Um, the frictional resistance. QSF is equal to mu times area at area of pressure diagram times yung perimeter times K. So, mu is already given um, area of pressure diagram. So, compute na lang natin siya by parts. So, EP diagram is equal to 1 half base times height ng ito sa triangle na part. Ayan. So, this is 1 half times 4 time, times 72. Ayan. And then, also have this trapezoid na part. Ito. So, this is 1 half times 72 plus 127.95 times 5. Plus, itong rectangle na part. Um, 127.95 times 6. So, yung area ng pressure diagram natin. So, this is equal to, check ko lang,
1,411.575. So, dahil nga, kPa times meter siya, matitira, unit natin ay kilanyatod per meter. And then, yung P perimeter lang siya ng pile section, K is um, unitless naman, 1.25. So, mu is equal, ayan, this can friction of the pile is equal to mu which is 0 0.45 times 1,411.575 times pi times 0 0.45 times 1.25 so this is One thousand one hundred twenty two point fifty sixty five kilo newton QSF for skin friction yan. So for letter C, pinapahanap naman sa atin yung allowable load capacity. Oops. Continue tayo. Yeah. Allowable load capacity. So, yung Q allowable natin, this is equal to the Q ultimate all over the pile, all over the factor of safety. So, this is simply the sum of the end bearing and skin friction. So, direct na natin, 1729.5. 7133 plus 1122.5065. So, factor of safety natin 2.5. So, this is equal to the allowable or Q allowable is equal to 1140.8879 kilo newton. Yeah. So, for the last part, continue na natin sa next slide yung last two questions. Um, kapag daw um, in-increase natin yung capacity ng pile to 1,350 kN, ilan daw yung 
length na kailangan nating idagdag dun sa pile. So, kung mapapansin nyo, um, di point bearing capacity, mareretain na natin to. Kasi kahit naman habaan natin yung pile, same lang yung kanyang end bearing capacity. No? Kasi yan. So, for the skin friction naman, tataas to kapag hinabaan natin yung pile. And then, let's say ito yung length na idadagdag natin. So, ang madadagdag dun sa area or dun sa pressure diagram ay yung length x to times yung effective stress na 127. So, bali, rectangle lang yung madadagdag dun sa ano natin, area ng pressure diagram. So, compute natin yung um, additional length. So, simula natin siya dun sa Q allowable D Q allowable is equal to 1,350 kilonewton. And then, magkakameron tayo ng bagong ultimate ng pile, which is equal to Q allowable times the factor of safety, 1,350 times 2.5. So, this is equal to 8,375 So, equal naman siya dun sa sum ni end bearing and ni skin friction. So, yung end bearing natin, same lang. 17, 29.7133. 17.29.7133 plus yung skin friction. So, solving for the skin friction, QSF is equal to 'yan. Skin friction is equal to 1645. point two eight six seven kilo so equate natin siya dun sa um, formula ng skin friction so this is um one six four five point two eight six seven equal shot to mu na 0 0.45 times P na pi times 0 0.45 times the area of the pressure diagram. So, kaila, ganito na lang natin yung nasolve natin kanina. 1,000 Plus 127.95 times x, kasi nga yung dadagdag natin lang. Times d K na 1.25. So, sor solving for X or your additional length, so you will get um, X is equal to um, 5,105.125. Meters. So, ito yung uh, length 
na kailangan nating idagdag para maging 1,350 kilonewton yung um, design capacity natin or yung allowable capacity ng pile. And then lastly, yung allowable or yung total length. So, this is equal to um, 15 plus 5.1380. So, 20 point um, 13.80 meters. So, my class. Yeah.